ride through this beautiful mountain pass here. Torch in hand. Camel in tow. Does he have all of his toes? Yes, he does. Okay, good. Eight toes. Let's go. I hope that Aya can do her part. I mean, I kind of just want to be able to play as Aya and take down some teams and be like, yo, you messed with us. Now you get to get killed by both of us. Because Bayek basically put him on his deathbed. Just Caesar and the guards prevented it from actually carrying through. Vultures. Whoa. I don't know what vultures provide, but we haven't... We've only killed like two vultures, so might as well get a little vulture pelt. Probably not worth the arrow, but eh. We'll try it out. Kind of get like Red Dead vibes as we pass through some of these places. Like, you know, I know there's no, not anywhere near as much sand as in Red Dead, but it'll be cool to see how this big open world, because it's a massive game, right? It's a massive world. How this compares to RDR2 next May. And just like the feel, the size, the scope, where games have come since the first RDR. And now how Assassin's Creed has done things. And how Witcher has done things. How Horizon has done things. And if RDR can kind of take those elements and be the best of the bunch. Or if it will fall short or how it will be. I mean, it'll be much more of a shooter, obviously. So that's different than any of the aforementioned games. But it'll be cool to see what they do and how they handle side quests. And how the plot is and how interesting things are. Okay, this is a statue, right? Yes. I mean, we got bigger fish to fry, but I'm going to take this down while I'm here. I mean, Ptolemy's already dead, so... I don't think he really cares much about statues. He's got a lot more things to worry about. That's 450 XP. That's a pretty good game. Those statues are one of the most uh, worthwhile side collectible side objectives. What's up, lion? I'm looking for a different lion. You seen Flavius? You know him? You guys hang out? Alright, so we're crossing all sorts of crazy lands. In order to reach this farm. We could go straight through, but it looks like we're gonna have to kind of weave weave around, yeah. We'll follow the main road and weave towards this farm. Flavius will not stop until he reaches Rome. Yeah, I wonder what he's gonna do. He's bringing that orb and that scepter back to Rome. Probably a whole bunch of uh, OG Templars back there waiting for him. Wonder how Layla's doing the machine as she started to like have her like mind and memories bleed and blend with that of ancient Egypt and Bayek. I just don't give a neck anymore. Nothing will stop me. What? What up, buddy? There we go. Knock you off while we're headed towards this farm. That gold shield is so pretty. Super glad we got that a while back. Hey, we found the green mountains. Refugee haven? Wow, these people are all worshipping the lion because the lion is... Flavius, that's creepy and weird. Look at this. Pretty seaside village here. Kairanaka. I mean, this is a gorgeous land. This looks like a vacation spot. Bye. You gotta bring Aya here after all is said and done. You really do. This is beautiful. Coastal little town. Trampled on by Roman occupation. This must be the farm I spoke of. Someone must have seen the lion pass through. Oh my god, what's going on here? Find my sacred oath. Forgive me. 
I am not your enemy. I am sorry. It is just, he was such a gentle soul. Once had me treat a wounded dog he had caught in a snare. Why would he do this? I have seen this before, in Siwa. I'm looking for the soul leader responsible, Flavius. The proconsul? That sack of rancid god shit murdered my son, raised my village, and now marches through your land with the light of a Munra. Come. Let us search the farm. Look for survivors. I am Bayakusiwa. Praxila, of this land gone mad. All right, Praxila. Why would Flavius do this? They are just poor Siwan farmers. <laughs> We gotta look for survivors hiding in buildings. They stood in his path. Come on, Prax, let's go. Flavius is. Oh, dang. Okay. Then we must be careful. Ah, uh, so much for being careful. Didn't know they were here. Wow, they are strong. I mean, we're strong too, but they're strong. And I don't think Praxilla can help us very much. Yeah, her health is real low. There we go. Alright. Oh, she's back up though. Ow. Whoa, Nelly. Come on. Good deal. Alright. This guy's the only dude left. And somehow we missed. There you go. Good work, Brixilla. Yes, take him out. Oh, we're so close. Got him. There we go. Whew. All right, let's go talk to these survivors. After putting all of these soldiers out of their misery. That was a tough, tough fight. But here we go. What's up? Nanette? Are you alright? What happened here? Red cloaks and that milk soap with the lion's head. Took anyone who could work. Farm hands, my son Kade, everyone. Then he came. Dark eyes hooded as a raven. I wanted to throw stones to shoo him off. Something golden, bright in his claws. Held it up, crowing as they fell before him. Some by their own hands, others by those dearest to them. Against nature, everyone crying, screaming, running, dying. How did you es- No one sees poor Ninet, an old woman's husk with clouded eyes. But I saw them, didn't cry out, bit my tongue till I choked on the blood. The men Thanks. who did this, we will find them. Better hurry, girl. Raven flew north to the home of the huntress, overheard red cloaks squawking. Bring Kade back to me. I will try. Flavius also robbed me of my boy. Let us bring Nenet to my cart. I want to kidnap children, kill children Will in this you game. Flavius? Ugh. So th that the scepter and the orb are creating some weird, like, hypnotic effect. People are taking their own lives. People are screaming. People are killing those that they love. I don't know what it's causing or what it's doing, but it's clearly infecting the minds must. of everyone. For your son. For every son. All the sons. You must miss him very much. All my waking and sleeping hours. You will see him again in the field of reeds. I hope so. Nenet spoke of the home of the Huntress. Yes, Cyrene. The shining porticos of Roman conquest. It is north of here. If Flavius is there, I will find him and destroy every fiber of his car. All right. 
When you arrive in Cyrene, look for my friend Diocles. I would trust him with my life and yours. As a magistrate, he hears petitioners in the Agora. Give him this. I hope this heals the madness in this land. I pray you get the justice you seek, Bayek. All right, so we're gonna head north. The magistrate. Why would they take Nenet's son, Kade? The citadel casts a long shadow over Cyrenaica. There are rumors that General Agrippa and Flavius are preparing for war. Against Egypt? Do you doubt their ambition? No. They won't stop until I stop them. I will bring Nenet to my clinic in Balagrey, south of the temple of Asclepius. Though that place has troubles enough. I will find you if I can. All right, so level up. All right, so fine, Flavius. We can now use. Hebs of a sword. Awesome. Playing with fire, General Agrippa is forcing Egyptians to work on a weapon of fiery destruction at the Citadel. And Vitruvius is involved. That's Cade. One bad apple. The healer Priscilla asks Bayek to help her investigate disturbing reports coming from Asclepion. That's a legendary spear. And Final Lane is now level 35. And we are 32. So we're going to have to do some of these, even though they're not giving us a lot of XP. 35 is just so high up. So let's play with fire. Um, it's crazy, it's only 2250 XP. I mean, because... Unless there's more side quests on the map. I mean, yeah. Okay, the good Roman. Carpe diem. Carpe diem. Shadow of Apollo. Unseen eyes. So many 35ers. Level 3? Level 3? Um, I think also now probably back in Crocodilopolis and these places. What's this one? Okay, we now have some 31s and stuff like that to do, so I have to bust some of these out. Mm. Alright, let's let's track plane with fire. It's north. We'll also pick up the good Roman on the way. And yes, okay. So let's go pick up the good Roman. Just add that quest and we'll grab those two. Oh, I should be able to now put my ability. Um, what did I want? Not Eagle Harass. I wanted this one. Be able to buy X. By, by uh, resources. Yes. Okay. So it seems like we got through the little uh, Alexandria excursion, um, and that wasn't the end of the game. Obviously, we're now back, 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 back into the main game, the main world, north of everywhere else we've been, but still with the same goal and purpose to track down Hemo's killer and avenge Ian Bayek's butchered family. Um, let's go grab this good Roman quest, complete the fire quest, and see if we can get up to 33. 35 feels so far away, but I feel like it... I might just gun for it at 33, we'll see. The Lumba Stop Depot. Off the, foreman. Last... the foreman sent a guard to check on us? We were not complaining. We were working hard. I am not a guard. I am a Medjai from Siwa. Does he treat you badly? The work here looks backbreaking. No. Compared to the sea ones up at the aqueduct, we are revered like pharaohs. I would not go that far. Are there problems at the aqueduct? Some snooty engineer, Vitruvius. He is working our countrymen to death. And now the Roman army is involved, which is never good. I will see what is going on, Seni. All right, so this is the good Roman. Let's actually track this one since it's, I think it's level 31. Yeah. We'll go up to the aqueduct site and uh, see what we can. Ooh, there, there's horse. Wait. I was going to say, I'd take one of those horses, but there's a guard there and a lot of guards there. So stealing, probably not advised in this area. Um, let's go do this quest and then we'll do the fire one. And if we have 
These should push us close to 33. All right, we're at the aqueduct. All right. Find the Roman engineer and see what the heck is going on. I don't think this is a fight. I don't think at least. Will loosen your tongue. Enough! My workers are not to blame. Send me some soldiers with half a brain, or we'll never find my Dioptra. General Agrippa will hear of this. A Roman standing up for Egyptians. Pathetic. Tell Agrippa I need real soldiers who will help me find these thieves. I'll scuttle back to your wine, you sacks of uselessness. Sex of uselessness? It's a good one, Vitruvius. Are you the one responsible for working my people to death? Your people? They are my people. I'm keeping them alive in the face of increasingly bad odds. But who are you, my Egyptian friend? Bayek of Siwa, protector of these people. Well, Bayek of Siwa, I am Vitruvius, and contrary to popular belief, not all Romans are your enemy. If you would help your people, then help me. Our tools have been stolen. My surveying tool, the Dioptra, specifically. Without it, construction has stalled on the aqueduct. The general's idiots believe my workers are to blame. Maybe I can look for this Dioptra. With it, this elevated river would flow into the farms of Cyrenaica. Talk to Dady up at the construction site. He used it last. Fortuna go with you, Bayek of Siwa. Beautiful. All right, so we gotta go find this Dioptra, which is this magical item that's gonna help him uh, get the uh, get the water flowing. And we definitely want that. So let's go help make it happen. Hopefully, we don't come across any more elephants. Actually, hopefully we do. That was pretty darn sweet. Freaking elephant battle. <laughs> did not expect that in this game at all. <laughs> I'm not gonna kill you. Don't worry. Is this guy running away? Where, where is he going? Oh my god. Come on, dude. I'm not trying to hurt you, man. I just want to talk. And I actually mean it this time. Normally when I say that, I'm trying to like... Slit somebody's throat, but this is my legit mean. I just want to talk. All right, we're catching on him for sure. Hey, it's all good, buddy. Calm down. I won't hurt you. Just tell me where the Dioptra is. It was lunchtime, and my wife brought me a fresh roasted chicken leg for lunch, which was nice as it has been an eon since I had. Sounds delicious, but get to the part about the master's tool. Your lunch won't solve this crime. Oh, uh, I see. Well, I left the diopter in the cave, and when I came back, it was gone. Scobbled away by wolves, spirits, or worse. What does this diopter look like? Like a brazier, made of three parts. A bit you see through, a bit you measure with. I will find it. Just try not to die of fright before then. <laughs> Alright, three parts. Yeah, I was gonna say, definitely gonna be split up. And it must be somewhere in the caves behind the aqueduct. Alright, so we'll head there. Deal with wolves or demons or whatever we got going on and hopefully enter a beautiful cave. Let's see. Get our markers going here. Alright, in we go. There's a giant cave here. A necropolis hideout. Interesting. All right, there's three pieces, a kind of, uh, like a giant tool. Piece you look through, piece you measure with. Great. A lot of bad dudes, it seems like, in this beautiful waterfall area. Hmm. 
No, no, that's backwards. Oh, there we go, okay. Climbing up this way. Follow the bright lights. Follow the climbing walls. And follow the dang yellow diamonds. That's most important. That one's still too far away. Abandoned den. But at least we know it was not spirits that stole the tool. That's good. Looks like a piece of the Diopter. This is ancient, a sacred site long before the Romans or bandits came. All right, sacred site. Let's continue onward. I think I accidentally loosed a third arrow. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. But there's more arrows here, so we will restock up. Beautiful. And we'll go loot this dude. Thanks for two coins. Two. Hung heads in the trees. That's always freaky to me. People do this kind of stuff. Alright, Senu can now grab the last target. Oh, we found it. Cool. Alright, so they're both actually pretty close, which is good news. Try this sword that's on fire. Ooh, yes! Freaking fire sword, are you kidding me right now? We definitely are gonna be able to complete a level 35 mission with this thing. Man, I'm no longer worried at all.